If you've ever played New Vegas, you'll know that there's one place the game revolves around where all of the action takes place. I'm of course talking about the New Vegas Strip. But if you've also played New Vegas, you'll know that getting into the Strip itself brings a hefty price. There are plenty of obstacles along the path from Good Springs to the Strip that can prevent the player from progressing, making getting close to the Strip in itself a difficult task. But that's not all. Once you've reached Freeside, there are several different methods of entering the Strip, and today we're going to discuss exactly how speedrunners manage to gain entrance to the Strip of New Vegas in the fastest way possible, while also avoiding all of the Nevada wasteland hazards that you meet along the way. New Vegas starts out with a very simple goal. You've just been shot in the head by a mysterious man and his gang, and have just been revived by the doctor residing within Good Springs. And if you've gone through half the game of New Vegas, you'll know that the person that shot us is in fact Benny, and he is over at the Topps Casino in the Strip, which is why getting to the Strip is so important, because getting to Benny starts the end process of the game. We're starting our journey from Good Springs to the Strip. After we finally leave Dr. Mitchell's house, we must start our journey from Good Springs over to the general vicinity of the Strip. Now, the two paths you immediately think of are basically this. You either move north, through the main road, passing Sloan and moving towards the Aerotech Park, or head west through Bonnie Springs and Raider territory to get into the general vicinity of the New Vegas Strip. But here's the problem. The first path is riddled with death claws, and I mean riddled with them. North Pass Sloan is the quarry junction which serves as a breeding grounds for the fuckers, and they seep out all the way up to Junction Railway. The second path we mentioned is riddled with the worst beast in the game, the Cazadors. These fuckers are fast and deadly, but we can actually outrun them and avoid dying to them, making passage here viable for our speedrun, unlike the Northern Road. But there is a better route, a route that doesn't take as much of a detour and serves as being both a faster means of travel and efficient use of our time in the long run due to it unlocking a few relevant fast travel locations. First, head east from Good Springs making a beeline straight to Hidden Valley, a location we must enter later on anyways. Once you get close enough to the location you'll discover it, fast travel to the location, this then skips us forward like 100 feet, saving us a bit of walking speed. Then, from there, head east into a small pass that converges with Black Mountain. Again, fast travel to it, this then puts you at the top of Black Mountain, which means all we have to do is head north. From here, it's a straight line all the way to Freeside. Easy peasy, we've just avoided two of the most toughest areas in the game and haven't even took a smidge of damage. Now, this is how you make it to Freeside if you're not using glitches. If you are using glitches, uh, it's a bit different. Here's what you want to do. From the entrance of Good Springs, you want to pull out your Boeing 357, I mean your .357 Magnum, and then simply just zoom your way to Freeside. So what you're witnessing right here is an infinite reload dash. Basically put, you cripple your legs as you are cancelling a double reload with the Magnum, which causes you to be permanently stuck in two animations, which causes your character to just go at exceedingly high speeds. There is a different version of this known as a reload dash, but for this purpose we're doing an infinite reload dash because it travels across more space. I'm going to leave a video in the description that is basically a tutorial for this glitch for anyone that is interested. This is where I'll make a small pause to stress something out. This video will now be split into two paths. First, I will talk about New Vegas glitchless speedruns, how runners who don't use glitch mechanics manage to get into the strip early. After this, I'm going to mention any percent, which is the glitched way, so to speak. Now let's get back to the title of the video, which is pretty simply put, how speedrunners get into the strip. Now we've managed to make it all of the way to Freeside, we've got to find the best way to get into the strip itself and start our game off. Here's the four different ways, the four key ways, that you can get into the strip. A. Have around 2000 caps on your body, walk up to the strip gate and talk to the Securitrons gaining entrance. B. Shoot your way into the strip, causing mass panic in the process and having everybody on the strip hate you. C. Own a passport into the strip by helping out the king, or by buying a passport from Mick and Ralph. 
or D, join the NCR, fight for your country and become official enough in the ranks to enter the strip. This can be done one of two ways, having the NCR like you or having Boone as a companion. As a speedrunner, your goal is to go fast. Making your way into the strip through Freeside is slow, due to the placement of Freeside on the map. You must have to walk all the way around the strip itself to gain entrance. Doubling back like this loses time and doesn't serve as a fast way of entry, so instead, we must gain entrance using the NCR. However, doing the NCR quest lines is slow, and getting Boon is so far out of the way that it's just not an option. So instead, we just walk right up to the monorail doors and... Yeah. See, although entering Vegas this way does make us an enemy to the NCR faction momentarily, we don't give the NPCs enough time to kill us and we can just waltz right into the monorail doors and straight to Vegas. This takes away the process of doubling back through Freeside and serves as a faster method into the New Vegas Strip, which I would recommend most casual players do. But what if I told you that as of four months ago, Kung Cobra, a well-known speedrunner, found a new trick, a new skip, to getting into the New Vegas Strip early by accessing the monorail without going into Camp McCarran. And that's what's really important here, is the fact that we don't have to walk around to Camp McCarran anymore. Instead, we can access the monorail from the outside cell, because the monorail itself is in the outside cell due to the balcony and being able to look around and because of that we can climb up this wall and manage to get to it. I will explain it in more detail what's going on. What you're watching right now is the first draft of this trick and it did get a bit more refined with time so I'm going to explain this trick in a bit more detail. So as you're approaching the monorail track, what you want to do is drop your piece of armor here on this ledge. Now armor items and most items in this game have a physical entity, meaning you can jump off of them for a brief moment of time before the physics freaks out. We use this to get on this little invisible plane that was put by the devs to avoid players from getting on the monorail, which is funny because we use it for our own gain here. Then what we do is we want to spam jump up the side of this monorail track, climbing up to get a good nice bit of altitude to then proceed to go down the incline and get onto the track itself. It does take a big, bit of effort and it takes a bit of, uh, you know, you have to spam the spacebar to make sure you don't fall down. But once you get to the front of the monorail train, you just spam spacebar up the nose, you get on top of it, and you'll also notice that that's different from what Concobra did. This trick did go through a few iterations before it reached where it is, and that is essentially how you get into the monorail and the strip fast in the glitchless speedrun. This is now the most efficient way to walk from Good Springs to the strip in the fastest method possible, without breaking any user-defined glitches in the process. Now, you could argue that item climbing like this is a glitch, but we could be here all day talking about the differences between exploiting an intended game mechanic and proving what is an intended glitch. I mean, it's really no one's job to decide what is an intended game mechanic or not, except from the devs of the game. And let's be honest, speedrunning's all in good fun, so we just define the rules. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the more interesting method of entering the strip. See, the glitched method is much more simple and basic. You take the same method used for glitchless being that of entering the monorail, and you simply grab your Boeing 357 from before and launch yourself in. There is two ways of doing this. You can either do an infinite reload dash and keep the height from Good Springs elevation to guide you in, or you can do a simple reload dash off of this nicely placed rock that is just outside of the monorail that gives you enough vertical and horizontal speed to place yourself just above the monorail doors, completely skipping Freeside and Camp McCarran the same way Glitchless does, just with a bit of a faster method is all. And you're probably wondering what happens once you enter the doorways. Simply put, once you actually manage to get into the monorail, you're greeted by some NCR soldiers who are just they're doing their jobs. After that, you enter the strip, Victor's there to talk to you, and that's it. That's basically it. 
You begin the process of picking an ending and meeting every faction in the game, hence why we discovered the locations earlier. The speedrun usually sides with Yes Man, as Yes Man has the shortest quest line in the entire game, letting you enter the dam around about 9 minutes into the game if you're using glitches. The current any percent world record is a 10 minute 29 by wave clipping, which was achieved only 3 months ago, actually, which is very impressive. And the current glitchless world record is held by AK, which was set 2 months ago, which currently stands at 23 minutes and 34 seconds. Anyways, that's the story of how speedrunners gain access to the strip so early on, and I think that the pathway used to get from Good Springs to the strip could be very influential and useful for a lot of new players. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I've been Jabbo, and thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.